You would think it would not be difficult to convince Coloradans to take the impacts of climate change seriously, as warming worsened wildfires are sending smoke our way from California, and the wildfire burns turn mudslide alleys in the western slope have closed I-70. You would think at least. Assistant State Climatologist Becky Bollinger says she hopes to convince individual Coloradans that while some changes to our climate have already been set in motion, as today's big UN climate change report outlined, we do have the chance to act before more damage and more danger become irreversible. Take the constant haze that Denver has seen this summer. Dr. Bollinger says unlike some of the other things laid out in today's United Nations report, the haze is something we could actually change. Air quality is one of those ones we might not be able to change immediately, but we would be able to change within years if uh, we start to reduce those emissions now. And uh, that, that should give everybody hope that uh, some action is going to lead to, to some observable change for us. And, and being able to breathe cleaner air uh, would be an amazing thing when you think about what we were breathing in on Saturday and Sunday. To this report, if you didn't hear about it, largest of its kind in years, it shows that greenhouse gas emissions have caused a roughly 1.1 degree Celsius in warming since the end of the 1800s. And over the next 20 years, global temperatures expected to reach or exceed 1.5 degrees of warming. With that, not only comes the hotter temperatures, but we know the impacts on the climate, on the weather, intense rainfall and flooding, worsening drought in other areas, and sea levels rising throughout the 21st century, and air quality in Denver that we can chew. All of that whether we care to do something about it, indeed something to chew on.